In this video, we're going to be talking about the different ways to factor a polynomial. Now, we're going to be dealing with the polynomial f of x equals x to the fourth minus x squared minus 20. And we're going to be writing the product of factors irreducible over the rationals, um, irreducible over the reals, and then in completely factored form. Now, every polynomial of degree n is greater than zero with real coefficients can be written as the product of linear or quadratic factors with real coefficients, where the quadratic factors have no real zeros. A quadratic factor with no real zeros is said to be prime or re irreducible over the reals. Now we want to be sure that we see that this is not the same thing as being irreducible over the rationals. So if we take a look at this piece here, x squared plus 1, where we have x minus i and x plus i, this would be considered irreducible over the rationals. Excuse me, it's irreducible over the reals, and therefore, you're over the rationals. But on the other hand, if we look at the quadratic, x squared minus 2, this is irreducible over rationals, but it's reducible over the reals. So let's take a look at what we've got and, and let's go through this so we can see how exactly that breaks down. So what we want to do first is we want to take a look at our x to the fourth minus x squared minus 20. So we're looking for two numbers that will multiply to negative 20 and yet add to a negative 1. And negative 5 and positive 4 will do that for us. So we can then write this as x squared minus 5 and x squared plus 4. It's an x squared because our original polynomial is an x to the fourth power. So from here, we are going to need to look at that and decide, is that finished? So first, so we're going to have this as our finest, final answer as far as irreducible over rationals. Because if we took our x squared minus 5 and set it equal to 0, we would have a rational number. And our x squared plus 4 would be a negative 4, giving us an imaginary number. And so as the product of factors that are irreducible over the rationals, this is our solution. Now, if we're trying to find the product of linear factors and quadratic factors that are irreducible over the reals, that allows us to then take that x squared minus 5 and our x squared plus 4 and go a little bit further. So we're going to look specifically at our x squared minus 5. If we take our x squared minus 5 and set it equal to 0, then we have x squared equals 5 and square root both sides, giving us the x equals plus or minus 5. We can then break down our x squared minus 5 to an x plus the square root of 5 times the x minus the square root of 5, and then our x squared plus 4. Now we have shown that we are irreducible over all of the real numbers. Now from here, if we wanted to go to completely factored form, we're going to look at that x squared plus 4. We're going to work on breaking that down. So we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, giving us x squared equals negative 4, then square root both sides to get an x equals plus or minus 2i. From there, we'll replace our x squared plus 4 with the plus or minus 2i, which gives us x plus the square root of 5 times x minus the square root of 5 times x plus 2i times x minus 2i. And this would be considered completely factored form because nothing else can be broken down at all. So let's just look back really fast to make sure we understand what exactly just happened. Here, we stopped there because if I broke down x squared minus 5 any farther, I would have irrational numbers with the radical 5's, or plus or minus radical 5, and here we'd have plus or minus 2i, which is not rational, so we had to stop. On our next step, we had to stop because we were looking for over the reals, and this, when we solved x squared plus 4, we got plus or minus 2i, which is imaginary, so we couldn't go any further. But when we asked to completely factor it, we were able to have rationals, irrationals, reals, and imaginaries.